نحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته uh, I hope that all of my sisters are doing good inshallah and uh, welcome uh, again to the session uh, today inshallah Uh, we will be moving on, uh, you know, uh, to the next uh, topic, inshallah, for today. So yesterday we covered the differences between the similar sounding letters, right? And that was a bit of a lengthy topic because we, you know, did all of the details of the differences between similar sounding letters. So I would just say that if you have any queries for that still, you can still ask me at the end of the session, inshallah, okay? For now, what we will do is that we will uh, do this topic, um, which is letters that change shape according to the position in a word, right? And I told you in the starting sessions as well that this is not the case with, you know, English alphabets. The English alphabets, as you can see in front of you as well, they do not change their shape when they are, you know, placed at a certain position in any word. But in case of Arabic, the shape of the letters change depending on the position they have in a word, if they are at the start of the word or in the middle of the word or at the end of the word, right? So we will see this in today's session, inshallah. So, uh, you know, uh, on, on this slide, you what you are saying is that uh, you are seeing the different shapes these letters can have. So for example, there is this letter ba written here and below this letter, there are like two shapes written that this word can change depending on its position in a word, right? So uh, for all of these letters, there uh, there is, you know, uh, uh, the possibility is written below, right? So for all of, like uh, in, in here, you do not see the LF letter at the start, right? Because I told you that that is the letter of elongation and also that the alif remains the same. It does not change its shape. So that is why it is not written at the start. But all of the other letters are kind of, you know, summarized here. Let's do, let's do these one by one with examples now. So for, you know, doing this uh, session as well, I hope that you are, uh, you know, kind of practicing uh, the writing of Arabic letters as well. Right, because for memorizing the names, I told you that uh, this will be helpful that if you write the letters side by side as well. So in today's session, that is a kind of a more important session uh, with regards to writing of Arabic as well, right? Not only reading, but for writing Arabic as well. So let's do these uh, one by one, right? So first of all, there is Aleph. So Aleph, the shape of Aleph remains the same, even if it comes at the start of the word or it comes in the middle or at the end of the word. So next letter here is Ba letter, right? Ba letter. This letter, it does change its shape, right? When it comes at the start of the word, it is something like this, right? We know that this letter has a dot below it. So the shape of this letter at the start will be like this. When this letter will come in the middle of the word, it will be like this then. So let's do the example of words here. It is basara. The first, the first word here is basara. In this word at the start, there is letter ba. The shape is like this form, right? There is just this first like portion of ba. The ba is like cut. We, we just cut the shape of the ba and the letter and the uh, dot as well with it. And that is the shape the ba has here. So we say basara. In the next word here, we see the position of ba letter in the middle. Abasa. Ba is in the middle, so that is why ba will take the shape like this, right? So let's do the example of ba when it will come at the end. This is aina bin. Aina bin. Here in this word, ba is at the end. And yes, when ba comes at the end, the shape does not change of letter ba. So, right, for ba letters, you will have to, you know, kind of uh, memorize these uh, shapes as well, right? So that you, doesn't, you do not get confused, okay? Sometimes people get confused uh, with this, with the letter noon as well, when like the beginner people, right? They can, they can confuse this with letter noon. Because the dot here is below, not on the top of it, okay? 
The next letter here is the letter, the light the letter. And here, the same like, you know, the bar letter, the difference is just of a one more dot, but the two dots are, uh, two dots are on top of it. So the shapes uh, it can take is this one and this one, right? So just, you know, just similar to these, these shapes. Right, so we take the half portion, like the first half portion of the letter here, and this is how we sh we have this shape. So let's see the example. When ta comes at the start of the letter, this is ta alam, Here ta is at the start, right? So the shape is like this, with two dots on top. When ta will come in the middle, the shape will be something like this. Let's see the example here of word matruk. Matsruk, right? Here ta is in the middle, kind of, right? In matsruk, and the shape is like this. Okay, so when ta comes at the end, just like ba, it does not change its shape, right? So mala cuts at the end, ta is just as it is. Now, let's see the next letter of tha letter. Just like, you know, the previous letters, we will take the half portion of tha with three dots on, on top of it. And you know, this is how tha will look when it comes at the start of the word. And we say tha ma ra, right? And when tha will come in the middle, it will look like this. And the example is mathwahu, mathwahu. Okay, so when tha comes at the end, this is as it is. And we say ghaithu. Okay, so let's see the next letter, which is Jim letter. And, you know, for this letter, you will specifically have to remember the shape of it. Why? Because, you know, sometimes people can confuse this with the letter Kh. For Jim, what do we do? We cut the, you know, this encircled part from Jim. And obviously, you know, we see that. Uh, you know, the dot is behind this, you know, sorry, below this shape, right? This shape that we make, the dot here was below. So we will keep the dot below with its, its cut, cut form as well. Okay, this short form as well. This is uh, how the gym will look when it comes at the start of the word or in the middle of the word as well, right? So let's see the example. Jama'a, jama'a, here. Jim is at the start of the word and you know the shape is something like this and the dot is you know below here okay let's see the next example with Jim in the middle and here we say mujerimu mujerimu here Jim is you know in between the meme letter and the raw letter so Jim you know the shape is just like this right the shape is kind of similar like this and the dot is below it Right, so let's see the next letters one by one as well. So just like the way, you know, we cut like the gym, right? We, we change the gym into the short form. We'll so, uh, we will do the same process with the letter ha as well because the shapes are kind of similar, right? The shapes are similar, so we, do, we will do the same process. So we'll cut this part and this will be like the ha when we attach this to the word at the start. The example is haroma. So here again, we cut the ha, right? The ha looks like this here. And when ha comes in the middle of the any word, we say mahram. Mahram. Ha here is in the middle. So, you know, this looks just like the gene, but it does not have any dot. The next letter is kha. So that is the letter I was mentioning that you are not supposed to confuse this letter with the gene letter. Here, the dot is on top, right? Because in its original form, in its, like the form, in its individuality, the dot was on top of its head. So we will keep the dot above here. And you can see the example of word khwaraja. Khwaraja, right? So here, the uh, on the kha letter, the dot is on top. And if it comes in the middle, the shape is like this with dot on top and we say makhraj makhraj okay so let's uh, do the next letters as well this is the letter dal 
so the dal letter you know it keeps its shape intact you know the shape will be like this but what will happen you you just uh, you know you just have this attachment here when this dal is joined with uh, with any word right so we just have this you know uh, attachment that we have created but otherwise the shape is uh, as it is right so let's see the example here in madada madada in here dal was in the middle so the shape is you know just like this just don't mind my writing but you know the shape is supposed to be like this right and at the start we have you know we have just attached this with the previous letter of me madada here dal is again in the middle and we we have attached this with the previous letter of of and the word is qadirun qadirun right so this these are the examples of when the dal will be in the middle so right so when dal comes at the start or at the end the shape is just the same let's see the next uh, letter which is the letter the okay so this is again you know a letter with a like a kind of a uh, round shape right so the dal and dal they both have like a similar shape with, but this dal has a dot on top so you know just like dal we will attach it in the same way so example is of bun. here we have attached this and uh, this adal with the previous letter of ain bun. okay so here let's see another example which is of anzir there right so the letter here again the shape is like similar to this right so you know in the next letter of raw we will do the same you know process that we will keep the shape as it is but we will just create an attachment right so we say like so here in this example we see a letter raw and we just attached with this with the previous letter of sad. So in the next example, khayro, khayro. Here uh, we see ra at the end. You know the shape will be like this. Okay. So the shape is intact when it comes at the end as well. So let's kind of you know quickly see this again once again so that you get to revise these side by side as well. So. I mentioned that for Aleph, you know, this is like as it is for Ba, the Ba letter takes like the two uh, shapes, uh, you know, depending on the position. For the start, the Ba is like this. In the middle, it is like this. And at the end, it remains the same. So just like Ba, we do the same with Ta and Sa as well because these are similar looking letters, right? Uh, with just the difference of like dots. So for the next three uh, letters, they are again similar in shape, Jim, Ha, and Kha letter. So what we will do for these three letters, we will just, you know, cut the cut the part of them again, right? And we will have to, you know, specifically be conscious of the dots again here. So for the Jim, the dot is below. For the letter Ha, there isn't any dot. But, and for the letter Kha, the dot is on the top of it. And we just saw the next uh, letters here. For these letters, again, you know, we will have to see the shape of the letter and the letter. They both have similar shapes and they will have their shapes intact when they come in letters. And we just create attachment for these letters, right? This, and like this line here, we just attach this line here, right? And for the raw letter, we do the same thing. And, you know, the next letter is the letter, the 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 letter with a buzzing sound right so again for this letter we create an attachment but the shape remains the same let's see the example of azakata azakata right so in this the comes in the middle here of the word and um right the shape is just as it is let's see the next example of tahzan so here again, the is just similar in shape like this. We just attached with the previous letter of ha here, right? So let's move on to the next letter, which is seen letter. Seen, the seen letter with a whistle sound in it. Seen. So for the seen letter, 
just like we did, you know, with the jim and ha and kha, what we will do, we'll just cut the first part of it, right? I have encircled this part. We will just cut this part and the, uh, what remains is this, right? So for attachment of the scene with the other letters, we just attach this part, right? Let's see the example of word saraba. Saraba. Here in this example, the same letter is at the start. So the shape is like this, right? Saraba. Let's see the next example of Hasanatun. Hasanatun. Here, scene letter comes in the middle here, right? And, you know, the shape is just like this, right? The shape is just like this or this. But, you know, we just attached it with the, pre with the previous and the next word, next letter, sorry. Okay, so just like the way we did, we did with the scene letter, we will do the same process with the next letters as well. So for scene letter, what we did, we again cut this, you know, first part. And this is what we are going to join even if it is in the, at the start of the word or in the middle of the word, at the end of the word, this sheen letter and sheen letter, they are, you know, they are as it is. They keep their full form. When they come at the end of the letters, they keep their full form. So I just, I'm just telling when they come at the start or in the middle. So when sheen comes at the start, this, uh, this looks like this. Shakara. Shakara. When sheen comes in the middle, we say like mushrikuna, mushrikuna, right? So sheen is just like this with three dots on top of it. The next letter is sod. The next letter is a sod letter, the heavy form of sheen letter, you can say. So for this sod again, what you do is that you cut the first part of this sod and, you know, this is the shape you will get. And you will attach this shape at the start of the letter or when it comes in the middle like this. So the first example is of Swabaro. Swabaro. Right here, Swad is at the start and it looks like this. Swabaro. When it comes in the middle, it is something like this. Miusbahun. Miusbahun. Right? So. The next letter is Wad, which is again similar, you know, in uh, looks just like the Swad letter with a dot on top. So we will just keep the dot, dot on top and the other shape is just like the Swad letter. So the example is Dhirara, right? This is the heaviest letter of Arabic, the Wad letter. So in the next example here, Ghadabun. Here, the letter comes in the middle, and you know, the shape is like this with the dot on top of it. And again, you know, I just mentioned that I'm just telling you uh, uh, these uh, letters when they come at the start or in the middle specifically, right? When the sod or thought comes at the end, they will be, you know, the same as in their original form, in their full form, okay? So, Let's see the next words. These are ta and wa, the heavy ta, right? So this ta letter, this remains as it is, right? So for this ta and wa, you will have, you will not have to remember that how they are going to change their shape, right? Because these letter uh, remain intact, their shape remains intact. Okay. So let's see the example of word ta here the ta letter comes at the start and the shape is just you know as it is in the next example you can see the ta letter in the middle here as well of like the word is sultana sultana here the ta is in the middle and the shape is just as it is same will happen with the wa letter walama at the start this is, you know, the sh same shape with a dot on top of it. Walama. In the middle. Waglu. Right? So here the verb is not in the middle, but at the end here. Waglu. At the end here, the shape is as it is. Okay. So 
The next letter is Ain letter. Ain letter, which is a letter of throat and comes from the middle portion of our throat. Okay, so what we will do with it, with its shape is that again we will just cut the first you know part, the above part of it, right? This part I have encircled, and this will you know become like this, and we will attach this part when the ayn letter comes at the start of any word. So the example is of word aqiba, aqiba, right? The ayn letter is at the start, and the shape is you know like this. We just cut the, you know, cut this part from the Ayn alphabet. And this looks like this when it comes at the start of the word. But, you know, when it comes in the middle, the shape is kind of quite different, right? This looks like this when it comes in the middle of the words. So you see the example of word. Here, the Ayn letter is this one, right? In this shape here. So we say ta'aqil. Okay, so just like the ayn letter, we will do the same with the ayn letter, but there will be just an addition of a dot on top of it. So the ayn letter, we will again cut the shape, right? This part, and this will look like this. Example is of word ghadaba. Ghadaba. So ayn letter here is at the start, and you know the shape is this one. When it comes in the middle, the shape will be like this. Okay, so example is Okay, so for these two letters again, when they come at the end, you know, their shape will be, you know, this uh, attachment and it will be, you know, look like this as well. I have, you know, unfortunately not written an example here. But inshallah, as we will, you know, uh, move forward with our lessons, we will inshallah see that shape as well. So the ayn letter at the end, you know, it what will happen is that this encircled part, this will, ha you know, this will be like this part. This this encircled part will be like this, and you know, we will make this full. So let me, you know, make this, uh, you know, write this in in this form. Okay, let me just take this. What I'm mentioning is that the ayn will look like this when it comes at the end, right? So ayn will look like this at the end. Same will happen with the ayn letter as well, but with a dot on top, right? With the dot on top. So this was what I was mentioning. Let's move on to the next letter of fa. The fa letter, we will just you know take the first portion of it when it comes at the start of the words, and we will say, Fa'ala. Fa'ala. Here the fa letter is at the start. So, th so this looks like this. Okay. And when this comes in the middle, it will look like this. And we say, Yafqahuna. Yafqahuna. Here fa is, you know, in the middle. So the shape is like this. Okay. Let's move on to the next letters as well. So, for off letter, the heavy off, again, we, you know, we take the first part, right? We take the first part and, you know, this looks like this. And when this will be at the start, this will be like this. Qamarun, Qamarun, right? The off letter is at the start here. When this will come in the middle, this will be like this, right? And, you know, this looks like similar to the uh, way we did fa. The fa letter just had a one dot on top of it. The off letter will have two dots. So mostly what happens is that for Arabic, you will obviously have to remember a lot of, uh, you know, dots, right? It has uh, so much to do with the dots. So just the shape changes, like, like the, sorry, the sound changes of the letters is just the, with the difference of the dots. So again, this, on, this will only come with practice. And that is why I'm just mentioning that. You try to practice these letters with writing because you will, if, if you will keep on, you know, just saying them uh, by, you know, repeating them uh, loudly or anything, that is actually a good way as well for articulation. But for memorization, the writing also helps sometimes, right? So for this cough letter, I was mentioning that there are two dots, dots on top of it. You can see the example here of Yaqulu. 
here the two dots on top and this comes in the middle here. Yaqulu. For calf letter, right, this kind of takes some, you know, uh, uh, quite many shapes, I can say. Right, let's see uh, the example, right? When calf comes at the start, first of all, we write this calf like this as well with this, you know, this kind of symbol on it as well. So this is also the way we write calf and this is also the way we write calf as well, right? So the calf is written in both ways. When calf comes at the start, we just, you know, we just it, uh, write it like this. Uh, you can see this in the example of word karoma. Karoma. Here, kaf is at the start and it looks like this. Karoma. This is a light ka sound. So, also you can see in the uh, word of likulli. Likulli. Here, kaf comes in the middle. Right? Kaf comes in the middle and the shape is, you know, kind of very, like, kind of different. What just uh, is similar is that you put this, you know, slanting line, like, you know, this slanting line. This was when calf was at the start and this is there when calf is in the middle, right? You see this line here. This is here when calf comes in the middle. So that is how you will remember that this is a calf letter. So sometimes, you know, this calf is written like this as well when it comes in the middle. I have, you know, I saw that in the Musaf, uh, in, in, in the copy of Quran, that this is written like this as well. So the example here is al kaila kaila so this is written like this so this is how we can write when kaf comes in the middle like this as well as this and also the third possibility is that we write kaf like this when it, when it comes in the middle as well the example is yahkum yahkum so we see that the calf is here is like this in this shape. But you know what is kind of uh, you know uh, consistent in many cases is that this slanting line of the letter uh, calf, right? This line here, this line at the start, this line in the middle here, this line here in the middle, and again this line here. But when calf, calf letter, this calf letter comes at the end, the shape of it sometimes will be like this, right? The shape of it is as it is like this. Okay, so let's move on to the next letter of Lam. How Lam look like, looks like when it comes at the start or when it comes in the middle, right? So when the Lam comes uh, at the start, you can take this example from this word. Malakum. If you just take the second part of this word, Lakum, Lakum, that uh, itself is another word as well, right? This portion here, Lakum is another word. So here, if la lam will be at the start here. So at the start, we write lam like this, right? This is, you know, this shape. We write like a lam like this. When it comes in the middle, again, you see in this example uh, that lam is in the middle. So the shape is like this. When lam comes in the middle, but this is joined with the letter previous to it and the next to it, you can see the example here of this word. Yaj'alahu. Yaj alahu. <clears throat> Sorry, it's in this example, the lamb here is in the middle here, right? So the shape is like this now. Okay, so for lamb letter, you will have to uh, remember the two shapes, right? When this comes at the start, it comes in the middle, or when it comes in the end, the shape will remain as it is for letter lamb. Okay, so the next letter is meme. This is kind of easy, right? Because you know, th this has a quite different shape, and no letter looks like this, right? So this letter is without any dot and the shape is like this. So, you know, this letter is sometimes written like this as well. This meme and this meme, they are, you know, the same memes. So when memes come at the start, we see the example of word madada. Madada. Here meme is at the start. So we just, you know, we have written this meme like this. When memes comes in the middle, we will write it like this. Right? So sama'a. Sama'a. Here meme is in the middle and it has, you know, this shape. When meme comes at the end, you know, this can take these two forms, right? This form can be there and you can see at the end you will find this meme as well. Let's see the example here of na'alam. Na'alam. Here the meme is at the end and you see the shape. This is like this, you know, 
and sometimes you know you see the example of word kuntum kuntum here you know the meme letter is at the end but here the shape is like this one right this meme so for meme you will have to you know remember these three shapes okay so let's move on to the next letter of noon letter and i said that you know you are not supposed to confuse this letter with a ba letter because both ba letter and noon letter they have like one dot for ba letter the dot was below it for the noon letter the dot is above it right so for the noon letter the dot is above it otherwise the shape is you know similar to the way we write ba so let's see the example of when noon letter comes at the start of any word nadkhula nadkhula here we see noon letter at the start and the shape is like this and we have attached this shape with the next letter of dal nadkhula right and you know when noon letter comes in the middle this will look like this like this shape kuntum kuntum right so noon letter here is in the middle so this will take this shape when noon comes at the end the shape will remain as it is okay so the last few letters so the letter wow here right the wow letter here when wow comes at the start this is you know the very simple shape as it is shape and when it comes when it is joined with the uh, other letters again you know that is a very pro prominent letter the shape of it does not change much just like the dal zal ra za letters we simply create an attachment right we just create this we just extend the line here and we just attach the in this way with the previous letters okay so the wow letter will remain as it is so the example here is you know both with regards to when wow comes at the start of any word or in the you know or at the end here so wow you can easily you know see that you can easily uh, uh, get to know that this is the wow letter here right so the next letter here is ha letter ha letter so just the way we did the light calf letter you know this that had a quite many possibilities right quite many shapes you have to remember but you know again here here is ha letter and this is you know uh, on number first uh, in terms of possibilities right so for ha letter we see that when this um, first of all you know we write this ha like this and also we write this ha like this as well right in this way as well so these are both the same ha's that is the ha that comes from the portion of our throat that is near to our chest so this is a letter of throat and you know when it comes at the start right so we write this like this in this shape okay and when this ha comes in the middle you see it written like this again here in this example of ahla ahla right and uh, uh, when this ha is you know in the middle again here attached previous and to the next letter we will uh, find this ha written like this right so in this example of amalahum amalahum this ha was attached with the previous letter and the next letter coming uh, after it right so we have written it like this the next example is of ha letter when it comes at the end of the words and we write it like this right we write it like this and rabbihi is an example rabbihi at the end the ha you know took a shape like this okay so another possibility is that you will find the ha written like this as well okay in in quran you will find it written like this and you know this as well when it comes in the middle you will find both of these possibilities in this way and in this way as well right so in this example of alayhim alayhim the ha is in the middle right and the shape is like this okay so you will have to you know kind of memorize these five shapes of ha letter this shape this shape this one this is you know kind of similar to it and this one for it all of these are the is the ha which is from the portion of our throat that is you know the lower one that is near to our chest so this is the ha that has a sound 
similar to the English alphabet of H as well. Right? So, yes, for this ha, you will have to remember these five shapes, inshallah. The next letter here is Hamza letter. Hamza. This is like a very easy letter. Why? Because, you know, most of the times you will figure this out because of this small symbol of Hamza. You know, if that is below, uh, like above Aleph, Aleph kind of symbol. Not Aleph actually, okay? This is altogether a Hamza written. <clears throat> when you see this a, a standing straight line and on top of it, you see a small, this Hamza symbol or below that, that is a Hamza, not an Aleph, okay? So, and you will uh, see Hamza written like this as well in the word, you know, when this is not attached, we see it written like this as well. And, you know, we'll see this, uh, that how Hamza looks like this as well sometimes. So the first example here is of word Ila. Ila, here Hamza is at the start, right? And this next example, Again, Hamza is at the start, but with a Fatha symbol now. Alam. <clears throat> Alam. Okay. So, I was mentioning that sometimes you will see this Hamza written like this as well. And the example is a very, you know, common, very familiar example of word. Alladina. Alladina. Okay. So, here at the start, this is like Hamza again. Okay, so, uh, you know, there are like types of Hamza as well. Uh, like one is called Hamza Wasil and Hamza, uh, and the other one is called Hamza Qatay. So the difference you see in, in these shapes <clears throat> is because of the type of Hamza as well. Like the one type is Hamza uh, uh, Wasil and the other is Hamza, you know, uh, 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 Wasil and Qatay. Okay, so this is uh, like the difference between these. And uh, in this here, you what you are seeing at the, seeing at the start is again Hamza. So the next example is of word Shay in Shay in. So here you are, you know, see you can see the Hamza in its intact form and it's you know the as it is form at the end of the word here. Okay. Also, sometimes you will see Hamza written, you know, like this as well, right? This will be you know below this symbol and. This will be like a much shorter, very tiny Hamza. Okay, so example here is of word pa ifa ten ifa ten. Right, the Hamza here is not written separately, but above that there is you know an attachment created with the next letter. Right, this attachment. So that attachment is you know is related to Hamza here. Okay, and we are saying pa ifa ten. So Hamza here, sometimes written like this as well. Sometimes, you know, this tiny Hamza will be written on top of this attachment as well. Okay, you will see that as well. So you're not supposed to confuse this attachment that what is this thing here, okay? So that is an attachment created for Hamza. Okay, so the next and, you know, like the last of all is the Ya letter here. This is the same Ya, okay? The two Ya's are same, just like a difference in the way sometimes they are written in different, you know, copies of Quran. So the Ya here is like this and you sometimes write it like this as well. So this Ya will take the form uh, like this when it comes at the start of the words. The two dots here, right? The two dots here will be below here. Okay, also you are not supposed to again confuse this ya with letter ta. Why? Because ya letter has two dots below it. And the ta letter, it had two dots above it. <clears throat> right? So let's see the example here of word ya alam. Ya alam. Here ya is at the start and use something like this. Okay, so ya can be something, you know, some, it is written sometimes like this as well. The example is of word Yahfuna. Okay, so the shape is, you know, like a different, different than this shape. Okay, I, I have like, you know, I just forgot to mention here, I think the shape should be written here as well. This, like the starting attachment of yaw, the, this will, you know, this looks in th these two ways. This can be written like this at the start or like this at the start as well. Both are yaws because, you know, there are two dots below it. Okay, 
this ya can be written like this at the start, right? There is like a very little difference between these three forms, like this ya at the start, or this ya at the start, or this ya at the start, right? A little difference in the way they are written, but you know, there are two uh, dots below it. So we are not supposed to can be confused, right? Because we know that this only ya has these two dots uh, below it. Okay, so in this word, you me to, you me to, so yes, you are seeing the ya at the start, the ya in the middle, right? So these two are ya's, and at the end, you see a letter ta with two dots on top of it, right? That is the difference between a ya and ta uh, in terms of the way they look, right? You me to, to, ta letter at the end. Buyutikum, buyutikum. Again, in this word, we have the ya and ta here again. So for ya, the two dots are below. And for ta, ta letter, the two dots are above it. In this example, ghairi, ghairi, the ya is in the middle. When ya is in the middle, it looks like this, right? It looks like this. And let's see the example of ya when it comes at the end of the word. Al ghayi, al so when it comes at the end, the shape remains the same. It is like, you know, it, it remains intact like this, the full form. Okay, so what I mentioned uh, with regards to this, yeah, is that, you know, sometimes, you know, you will find in certain, you know, PDFs of Quran online as well, that this, yeah, will be written sometimes like this as well. I have, you know, got an example here for you that sometimes, you know, rather than writing the word, like this with the you know this uh yeah sometimes you know it is written like this as well you see the shape is changed to this one here so for both of these we pronounce in the same way we articulate the same way we say Ala. both of these you know they sound the same thing Ala. just you know the shape is you know a changed a bit uh, otherwise that is the same so that is it for today, everyone. Uh, and I hope that, you know, things are a bit clear to you that you will now have to, uh, you know, uh, memorize the letters that change their shape according to the position and award as well. Right. So that is like a bit of summary of these. If you have any query, you can inshallah ask me that as well.